Welcome back to IASTEC. In this video, I am going to show you how to rename your Angular component. Sometimes you create a component and you work on that, but later on you realize that you need to change the component name. So it is very straightforward. I just wanted to record a quick video. So I hope that you will find it useful. So first of all, let me show you my screen. So you can see VS code that is currently running my Angular project. So first of all, I will create a new component in this. So let's run the command ng generate component product list press enter. This will create a component for you that you can see. Now uh, let's suppose I have created the component. Now I want to use it in my app.component.ts. For that in the app.component.ts, I will import my component in the import array product list component. Okay and here let me drop all of this and here i will simply add app dot app dash product list save it and here you can see it is visible but let's assume later on uh, because of some requirement i need to update the component name for that i will simply go to the product list component and here i will change the name of these files one by one carefully so let's say instead of saying it product list i want to call it product products dot component so you have to make that change for all of these files and if it asks you for this confirmation update imports just press yes because wherever this file is being used it will automatically fix the path in those imports so just say yes okay you will notice that in the app dot component it automatically has fixed the component name so let's proceed and <clears throat> if you need the spec file then you can uh, make the same change here so here uh, let me the list and do the same for the product list component dot scss file and same for the product dot component dot html okay once that is done go to the product dot component dot ts file and you have to fix the template url as well also the style url okay save it further if you uh, want to change the selector you can change that as well so just remove the dash list from the selector and once that is done last thing that you would like to change is the change is that folder name so just remove the word that you want to remove and it will again ask you for the update imports for the product just say yes it will update everywhere okay so you will notice that this was updated successfully uh, i would like to make it products instead of product just do that again i should have products here and here as well not correct all right i have to fix it here okay so once that is done we can go back to the app dot component where we have error because we have changed the selector name here so we have to fix it in the app.component.html as well. So just remove it, the list word from it, and you will see that the error will be gone and it should work. So for that, we may have to restart the server. Sometimes it will get stuck there. So you just have to stop it. Or maybe you did not save the file in my case. I did not save my file. That's why it was not working. So no need to restart the server, just save it. But in some case, if it doesn't work, you may like to restart the server. So now you can see it has updated the file names and it is working everywhere as expected. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope that this video was useful for you. If you think that I provided you some value, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Also, please like and share this video with your friends and others. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.